Today's Toy Talk review is on the Medicom Rocketeer Real Action Heroes version 2.5 1 6 scale 12 inch action figure. That is a mouthful. Here is the box version. We've got the big picture of the Rocketeer figure looking up on the front. A window box flap thing that opens up there. As you can see the figure's not inside here. Um, that's because it's not inside there. And then we've got a side panel showing the Rocketeer figure. Uh, the back panel showing some credits. Um, back to the front. So there's the box. And here he is all out of the box. As you can see we've got a couple extra hands here. I, I personally always have the one holding the gun. And then one of the ones pressing the firing button going. But as we'll talk about in the review, you have a couple of options you can use with him. So there he is up from the front, standing on a Hot Toys base. We'll get into that in the review as to why I've got him on a Hot Toys base. Here we go, the figure from up front. Turn him around here. Side view. The very nicely detailed movie version rocket he's got on his back. And back up to the front. I would show you what he looks like without his helmet on, but you know, the helmet doesn't come off and there's no real head underneath. So, uh, yeah. So let's grab this guy up. We'll take him over to the couch. We'll do a review. How do I look? Like a hood ornament. Hey everybody, welcome to another ActionFeatures.net Toy Talk review. As you can see by the opening sequence, we are looking at the Metacom Rocketeer 2.5 Real Action Hero 1 6 scale action figure. Lots of words. Yeah, this is an older release, mm -hmm. but we both love the Rocketeer. I love that. I made a custom Lego of it. We love us some Rocketeer. Mm -hmm. We love the movie. I love the comics. He loves making Legos of it. Mm -hmm. The Rocketeer's awesome. So this one's been sitting in the case, and I've been thinking, like, man, we should really tackle the Rocketeer. So we decided to do the Rocketeer today. The first time I actually saw the whole movie of Rocketeer was mm -hmm. not too long ago. Yeah, we watched so, it down here yeah, on Blu-ray, didn't I we? I fell asleep every other time I tried to watch it. Because you were young, yeah. and you were busy with other things, mm -hmm. and you're the right age for it now. Yeah. Um, it's all right. a great movie. It's a great movie. I love that movie. It's one of my mm -hmm. favorite childhood movies. Um, here's the box. Again, this is the Rocketeer version 2.5. If I'm not mistaken, this was the last version that Medicom did. They did three versions of the Rocketeer in all. The version one had sort of a darker brown outfit or jacket. Then the second version, I could be wrong about this, but I'm trying to do this from memory. The second version had this sort of lighter brown that we're going to look at, mm -hmm. but it had bigger buttons that weren't really film mm -hmm. accurate. And then this version 2.5 made the, the buttons more film accurate. So is this the best out of them? I, I believe it is. I'm almost positive. Uh, I, I've only ever owned the version 2 and the 2.5. Right. Um, I never got the version 1, and I always kicked myself over because it had a really cool box. Um, it did? It did. It had like a nice painted box. This one's just got a picture of the figure, as you can see. Or the figure's on the, and one side. Figure picture on both sides. Credits on the back. I never Rocketeer knew, logo up top. I never knew you had two of the Rocketeer things. Yeah, I, well, I, eventually I sold my version 2 to get a 2.5. Because I was more impressed with the 2.5 mm -hmm. than the 2. Um, it's got an opening panel where the figure sits inside. Right. And it's got a little bit on here where it says, you know, back to 80, 1938 L at LA. Uh, discovery of top secret jetpack curls test, pi test pilot Cliff Secret into a daring adventure of mystery, suspense, and intrigue. Cliff encounters and as, as assortment. Yeah, a lot of grammatical errors on these things. Cliff encounters as assortment of ruthless villains led by a Hollywood screen star who is a secret Nazi spy. Spoiler warning. Uh, with the help of his actress girlfriend, the young pilot battles enormous odds to defeat his foes, who are anxious to use the device in an evil plan to rule the world. The dangerous mission transforms an ordinary young man into an extraordinary hero. Um, that's a good synopsis, with even broken grammar in there, of how awesome the Disney Rocketeer movie is. And it's very close to what oh, the comics a, were like. That was a Disney movie? It was a Disney movie, yeah. I used to have that poster on my wall when I was a little kid. No, when I was a little oh. kid at my parents' house. Uh -huh. Was it that um, same poster? Um, no, it was a different one. Oh. It was like all the, the group shot of all the people. Let's start off with the stand. Now, as you can see, my stand is still in its plastic baggie. And that's because I don't like Metacom stands. 
they're these weird sort of, they're clear, and they have a dish, and then this rod, and these clips that you put around, and you tighten them. Like I'm just not a fan. So when you see these pictures on the website, um, when we post a link in the info section, you won't see the stand in use, because I don't like this stand. I much prefer a hot toy stand. So that's what I put with mine, and I had Evil Face make a nice Rocketeer logo stand for me, or label for me. And again, he makes these labels, they're like five bucks if you just get the label itself. Buy just a random stand on eBay. And he's amazing. He's great. Oh, his, his Dark Knight Returns one is my favorite of the bunch. Oh, yeah, that one's Isn't that awesome, awesome where it's like yeah. in front of the lightning bolt? Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. What, did they use that in the comic? Yeah, it's straight from the comic, and he designed it so it fits in the logo stand. That is but we're not talking about that figure right. today. So anyway, he made this really cool Rocketeer label base. And if you have this figure, I highly recommend you get on eBay, find the cheapest hot toy, hot toy stand you can find. You can get it for like seven bucks sometimes. Right. Get with Evil Face, pay the five bucks, you've got a great stand that works a lot better than the Medicom stand mm -hmm. that you can put this guy on and he almost then just kind of fits in with your Hot Toys collection because he's standing on the right kind of base. Right. Um, he comes with two sets of hands. Um, one set is doing the firing the rockets. Right. Mm -hmm. He's got the thumbs down. One of the, le and then the other set has a left hand that's open like this mm -hmm. and a right hand that holds his Mauser, which I believe it's a Mauser. Um, a it's a gun, it's a type of gun. Um, the Mauser isn't super detailed, but again, this is Metacom from years ago, so you can't expect Hot Toys detailing on something that's old. But he's the still jet, a solid figure. The jetpack was amazing. The jetpack is great. It's even got the spot of gum to hold it in does? the fuel. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's 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 talk about that. The jetpack sits on the back by this whole leathery type mechanism, and it feels like leather, but I'm sure it's not real leather. But I could mm -hmm. be wrong. Um, it all attaches onto the sort of flight jacket thing, and the flight jacket is actually individually snapped. These buttons aren't real right. buttons, but they've got a bunch of snaps that go over the harness piece mm -hmm. to keep it on there and keep the, the look of the film. So that harness piece is all one solid piece that's on side the jacket, mm -hmm. and this front panel is one piece that snaps on in front of that right. to make it as film accurate as possible. And this makes it, the Rocketeer movie, he, makes it my top ten movies. Probably even my top five. Oh, it's great. It's a great film. Um, the boots are plastic and they just kind of slip on. He's got the aviator pants which have the little bit that bow out of the thighs. Um, we've already talked about the jacket somewhat. Again, this is the 2.5 version, so it's got that coloring instead of the dark coloring right. in the first. Um, the helmet is non-removable, which is probably the most disappointing thing about the figure. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have a separate Cliff Secord head. Just a separate head would be great. Um, but, again, I'm not going to display him without the Rocketeer helmet, so it's not a huge right. deal. Uh, overall, really cool figure. Right. Love the way the rocket looks. Love the way the helmet looks. One thing you got to watch out for, though, is the quality on Metacom base bodies. They have a habit of breaking, so you got to be really mm. careful with this guy. When you pose him and stuff like that, then you're not going to end up breaking something. When you switch out hands, all that stuff, you just got to be really, really careful with this guy. He's more of a just kind of sit on you, get him in a pose, right. sit him on your shelf, and enjoy the way the Rocketeer looks. Because you know the saying, breaking a 12-inch really expensive toy is worse than breaking a bone. I've never heard that saying, but it's perfectly accurate. Uh, yeah, I would be really upset if I broke my Rocketeer. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people where they had him posed and he falls off the shelf because of his junky Metacom stands, yeah. and he's shattered into pieces. It's all she wrote. Um, so yeah, be really careful when you get this guy. But I, I would say he's definitely worth picking up. The prices are moving up there, though, because there's not another Rocketeer on the horizon anytime soon. Um, Sideshow did a premium format, mm -hmm. but I don't think we're going to see another 12-inch, right. um, one-six scale figure anytime soon. Mm -hmm. you got three choices. I really think this is the best one of the bunch, the version 2.5. Mm -hmm. um, so, there you go. Mm -hmm. Again, like we just said, you see in the info section, you'll be able to go to pictures on our website and check out more of the Rocketeer. What do you think overall of the Rocketeer figure? The Rocket who? Oh, for crying out loud, haven't you read the papers? It's great, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool figure. I mean, not as detailed as a hot toy, but... Not as detailed as a hot it's toy. It's a good figure. Yeah, I mean, it, it does the job. It mm -hmm. looks good standing on a shelf, that's for sure. Um, it's not Hot Toys quality, no. but you can't expect Hot right. Toys quality from something that's not a Hot Toy. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. um, overall, really cool, though. I like it. Particular. I love the detail of how they put the gum on the jetpack. Yeah. A little luck. Yeah, the gum on the jetpack is a really, really cool little added piece there. And it gives you a, uh -huh. a more accurate right. thing. You know what I wish? 
uh, now that you bring up the jetpack, I wish that they would that somebody would do a jetpack that's accurate to the comic because the jetpack in the movie is different from the comic. And it would be cool to just have a switch out ability, like if some second party, or I mean, sorry, third party or something, were to do just a jetpack that was like the comic. What's, it's just different. Like, it's got like a different design to it. Uh -huh. And I would, it would just be cool to switch it out. Mm -hmm. You know, to have like a switch out rocket. Mm -hmm. I would say that. So that's it. We'll mm -hmm. sign off on this one and we'll mm -hmm. uh, see you guys next time. Right? Mm -hmm. Bye. See you. Maybe not. Look. Go get him, kid.